Interesting. Hello, hello. Go live with another person. Interesting. Haven't been here in a while. Flip cameraman topics. Interesting. Hello, everyone. It's been a couple of months since I did uh, TikTok live. I usually go live on YouTube every Thursday. But I said uh, I need to give love back to TikTok, the, the platform that have built me in the last couple of months. So I will start doing some... Uh, let me know if you can hear me good because I haven't done live for like six months. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm, I'm here too. Yeah, I'm surprised. But uh, I, I will aim for... As I said, Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern on YouTube. Every Thursday, that's what I've been doing the last month or so. And every Sunday, uh, 8.30 p.m., I will go live on TikTok. So that's the first time. That's the uh, last time I've done live was, I don't know, like July or August. I don't know what changed, but uh, welcome. Here's my uh, glass of water. For you guys that don't know me or do know me, uh, welcome. My name is Ziv, also known as Finance After 40, where I like to talk about uh, crypto stocks in crypto, specifically DeFi. So you're not going to hear me saying uh, Bitcoin uh, you're going to this price, Ethereum to this, Ripple, uh, the Cardano, Chainlink, all the usual suspects as, as, as they say. Check my bio, okay? If you are new to my channel, as well as my uh, uh, followers, check my bio. I did a soft launch on my live on YouTube uh, on Thursday. I post my top 10 uh, DeFi pick, picks, uh, plus a couple of bonus one. Uh, it's not free. It's like 30 bucks, 29.95. And uh, you get, and I will keep talking about, you get my top not like super top free DeFi, like super solid blue chips if you can call it like that plus uh, other 10 DeFi specific coins and you will not hear about those this is not triple v chain the usual stuff that you hear all over tiktok this is stuff that uh I i've done my research and you i promise you you haven't heard about 90 percent of the names there Plus another uh, DeFi pick uh, bonus, so total 11. I said it's top 10, but it's 11. Link in my bio, go check it out. And basically, yeah, uh, grab yourself a copy and see the top DeFi and support my channel if you like my content and I bring you value as well. Let's see what we got. Question, there's a lot of questions. Uh, <laughs> last time I've done a chat was as i said last summer i had like five uh I don't know, five people on a chat on a daily basis so let's see what we got i love your content thank you favorite stock right now it is DeFi. let me tell you a little about it people ask me in my comments by the way can you guys hear me good uh answer that i hope uh, yes um people ask me hey what's your favorite uh, coin with the ta 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 it's about the industry. So my favorite industry is DeFi. DeFi is going to make crypto. Okay. It's not going to be NFTs. Maybe I think that was super hyped, but still it's not going to be a random coin that has partnership. It's not going to be any of that. It's going to be DeFi. The money, just the money will bring crypto. If you've checked uh i'll give you some links some resources can i write somewhere in here i don't know how it works let me check is this uh enchanted effect and all so many nonsense comment can i comment ha huh, i can comment go to defy pools dot com okay i'm not gonna write that comment go to defy pools did i just write it yeah defy pools cool let me see what else is here another comment and DeFi Llama, okay? This is where the money, you can see all the projects that are on DeFi and how much money uh, is in DeFi. 
So if you talk to me, when I started this channel last summer, I said DeFi is key. Why? Because there's maybe two, one or two billion dollar of money, billion, one or two billion dollar of money locked in DeFi protocols. At the time, it was Aave, uh, Compound, uh, Uniswap, Maker, the big, big uh, dogs, as they say. If you fast forward, not even a year later, that two billion dollar, billion dollar that locked in DeFi protocol, about two weeks ago, before the crash, it was about 120 billion, 120 billion dollar locked. And after this crash, we are standing as of now, like an hour ago, 105 uh, billion dollar. Okay, 105 billion dollar locked. So 100 billion dollar plus locked in DeFi. That's insane. In less than a year, in all those giant products, in uh, again, Aave, Compound, Maker, Uniswap, but also in 50 others. So that tells me that if institution, big banks are putting a hundred billion dollar on the line using DeFi on crypto, the money is here and the money is here to stay. You're not gonna get rich. Sure, you can listen to TikTok and uh, YouTube telling you go buy Cardano and go buy Ripple and go buy whatever. You can do that, but the money is in DeFi. Those are not DeFi. Those are just coins that will go up if the market will go up. That's all. There's nothing special about them, no matter what you want to think, what people are brainwashing you on this and um, YouTube platforms. What's your top five DeFi investment? Go check the link in my bio to get, uh, get exactly that, your answer to these questions. Uh -huh. Seems difficult to buy DeFi. Can you tell us? Uh, no, no, I never use Binance. I hate Binance so much. You have no idea how many scams. Let me write another website for you guys. And that's why uh, people are shifting from Binance to, to Matic. Uh, go here, uh, token sniffer. <laughs> token sniffer. It tells you about all the coins that came out to the market every second or every minute, whatever the case, on every platform. And if you just look, if you just look like in the last hour, let's say, there were like 99, 99 out of 100 coins that came out are on the Binance chain. And out of those 99, maybe 98 of them are scams. Just insane. I hate Binance so much. And the reason that they went up insane because retail trader likes to gamble. That's the point. Retail trader go on Binance Smart Chain and go so many scam coins that promise 10,000% annual return, a week later they do a rug pull and, uh, and run with your money, the developers. And people doesn't learn. People don't learn. So a lot of people have now moved to Medic and Medic is pretty good, pretty solid and all the ecosystem is in there as well. So yeah. I bought 40 Ethereum at 430 US dollar because of Ziv. Yeah. Congrats. I talked about Ethereum at like 230 for the first time. And then it went to like 500, went down to like 350. People panic sold, of course, at 350. Didn't move for like three, four months. 350, 400, something like that. And then it jumped to 2000. Just all of a sudden, like six months later. This is a long-term game. If you have value coins that you believe in them, just buy and hold long-term good valuable coins, not scam or shitty coins. That's the key, basically. Let's see what we got. This certain <laughs> My man is live. Yeah, there's a lot of comments. I, I don't know how to... Hi Ziv, remember me when we made fun of Dodge? Yeah, that was a mistake. That's why I got into Poly Dodge yesterday. Have you guys seen me in the video? Already double. Unbelievable. It's not the coin. It's the human psychology. Talked about it like 24 hours ago. It's like 0 0.00000000, maybe another zero. Seven zeros, then one. 
And now it's seven zeros two. <laughs> Just so stupid, so stupid. So you throw some money at that. That's not a big deal. And if it does 10x in a, in a month or week, whatever, sell half. That's what I will do if that happens. If it just moved from seven zeros to six zeros, that's how crazy it is. People will still think it's super cheap. It's six zeros or five zeros, etc. Just look at Shiba. Uh, but it's now seven zeros point seven zeros two. I got in. I posted about it at seven zeros one. So if you just break one zero to six zero one, that's ten x. That's insane. So my plan at that point, if it ever gets there, sell half, uh, let the other half ride until whenever. But the half that I will sell, I will move it to legit coins that I believe long term add to my position. My long term position is not Dodge, rather shit coins. It's coins that are should be here long term. Ethereum, for example, plus two in my uh, PDF in my uh, bio. Yeah, it's uh, I'm super bullish DeFi. And just so you know, here's a little tip. Not a tip, but here's a little uh, something for me. I will answer what do you think about Shiba after I'll answer that. My number one um, Ziv, Ziv called Ave Maker last summer. Yes, yes, I sure did. If you talk to me and you follow me about, I don't know, six months ago, my number one pick was Ethereum. Always was Ethereum. I was super, super bullish on Ethereum. Don't get me wrong. I still am. But Ethereum is now my second uh, most valuable coin. Number one is in my PDF. It's not Bitcoin. It's a DeFi project. I believe that Ethereum is great. Don't get me wrong, it is, but it a lot more competition. Uh, Binance, I don't think Binance is gonna break Ethereum, even though they got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of volume from Ethereum. But you gotta look at the market. You gotta look at the market. If you're doing a transaction on Ethereum and you pay 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, two weeks ago it was like 500 bucks, 300 bucks, 100 bucks was an average. Just to do one transaction, okay? That's on Ethereum. And six, eight months ago, we said, okay, good, because there was no alternative. So we got used to that to pay 50 bucks, 100 bucks fees. That's basically Ethereum. Now, fast forward to today, you got Medic, you got Quick Swap on Medic that you pay 0 0.0001 less than like 10% of a penny to do transaction on Medic, on quick swap on Medic. Then you got uh, DFYN that I start to talk about, another exchange on Medic. People ask me, is this a scam? You can think that just because you don't know the name and uh, YouTube doesn't pump it up doesn't mean it's a scam. Uh, just because a lot of people got burned in the past because they just bought whatever shitcoin people told you to get in because it was popular doesn't mean all the coins uh, are a scam just do some research so dfyn they take it even a step further and i've used this product in the last few days this exchange i was super bullish at quick swap first and then i use uh, dfyn guess what you do there let's say you exchange your i don't know medic for poly dodge whatever 100 bucks, whatever the case. If you do it on a quick swap, you pay 10% of a penny, okay? Which is nothing. It is nothing. You can do the same thing on Ethereum, not for Polydot, for other coins, and pay 50 bucks, 30 bucks. Do it on quick swap, you pay less than a penny. Do it on DFYN. You know what you do? You click sign. I sign the transaction. The MetaMask is open, is ask, and the MetaMask asks me, do you approve the transaction? I say yes, and that's it. No fees. So if there's no fees, and thank you, Mr. Zachary, I see that you just purchased. Uh, so if you're watching this live, I appreciate you. If there's no fees, and that's like how Robinhood uh, won the game, that's the future. That's the future of uh, DeFi. That's the future of crypto. In order to have retail trader transacting and doing everything, you, you, you gotta have free fees. 
no fees at all, not even less than a penny. It doesn't exist. So Ethereum, it, I love Ethereum and Medic support Ethereum and all that stuff. You now have Medic that you can pay either less than a penny on QuickSwap. You have DFYN when it's actually free and cheap and, and fast to, to transact. And now you also have Phantom. That's another blockchain that start to pop and gain popularity. I haven't checked it, but I assume the fees are the same. Pretty nothing. You also have Binance, but Binance, in my opinion, is like, as I said, 95% of the... Shalom, Mr. Davy. 95% uh, of the projects that are coming out today on Binance are completely scammed, trying to do rug pull on you. Be very careful with Binance Smart Chain. It's not the time. Have to get in smart Binance Smart Chain banking swap was six months ago. How come you only accept PayPal? I it's not me. It's on a third party. It's not just PayPal. It's PayPal and a credit card. It's like on Shopify platform the PDF. It's not. It's not. It doesn't go to me. It's go to the platform. They take fee. They send me the rest with PayPal or Stripe, basically. But I would love to get uh, in crypto. That's a good idea. Other than that. Phantom, as I said, is a new blockchain. Avalanche is a new blockchain that came to the market in January and, and gets a lot of traction. If you follow me and you see my uh, duet with the guy that makes like $8,000 a month just staking his Avalanche coin in a liquidity pool and farm some uh, Avalanche, $8,000 a month on a $60,000 investment. How much is that? That's, that's a lot of money. A month. A month, no, not a year, a month, which is insane. Thank you, Mr. Ryan, for the purchase. If you came from this live, I see this all on my screen. So Avalanche is another competitor. And I haven't used Avalanche because you, can, you can't buy it. It's insane. I want to buy Avalanche so much. It's not on Coinbase. It is on Crypto.com, but you can purchase. It's nowhere to be found. It's not even on Binance US. It's on regular Binance. I need to go to uh, KuCoin and just it's a mess. So I haven't bought Avalanche, but tons of people did. And from what I've seen, the fees there are like, I don't know, like 13 cents or something like that. I could be wrong. So all those competition, they're all coming either to support Ethereum, which is Medic, or to compete with Ethereum, which is Binance, Phantom, Avalanche, Solana is coming to the play, uh, Harmony One. Uh, and, and a few Polkadot, of course, Cardano. So there's so many. And that is why, as I start uh, this conversation, as that is why I said that I am not Ethereum. It's not my most valuable bag. It was number one for years and it went down to number two. My number one pick is, is a DeFi because DeFi will make you the most money because DeFi is where the money is. In my opinion, it's not a membership, it's a PDF for my top 10 DeFi. And the, my number one pick is in the top DeFi, basically. So you can ask me after you uh, grab yourself a copy. Can I buy Avalanche on Voyager? I've downloaded Voyager like a month ago, tried to buy uh, Avalanche, I tried that. And my account is uh, impending to become verified and it says... Something like 12 to 16 weeks to get verified on Voyager. And that's why I think that the Voyager will fail no matter if they are faster and cheaper than Coinbase. They will fail because I can't wait 16 weeks to get verified. That's insane. Fourth time. Please address Pablo selling out shilling shit coins. I don't know. Talk to him. And if you are buying stuff based on uh, people on social media... When you listen to someone on social media, doesn't matter me or someone else, take that. And if you like what you hear, don't buy. Go do more research. And if you like what you see in your own more research, then make a decision not just to buy, how much to buy and when to sell. Top 5 DeFi's, link in the bio for my top 10. Yeah. Do I like VeChain? I said it many, many times. Everyone on uh, TikTok for some reason love VeChain and Ripple. I don't know why. I know why. Because you follow popular influencer. 
No, I don't like no triple and I V chain is solid, but it's not gonna if you bought V chain V chain a year ago with a thousand bucks, you're sitting as of two weeks ago before the crash at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If you bought like a year ago, on January, this year, uh, not this, this year, like a year ago or summer. And thank you, Vincent, for the purchase as well. If you are watching this, I appreciate you. If you bought VeChain a year ago with a thousand bucks, it become $250,000 as of two weeks ago. If you buy VeChain now, you missed on a 250,000% gain. So sure, it can go up. No one said it, it couldn't, but is this going to give you a thousand dollars today, another two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Or you just buying because some favorite popular uh, TikTok creator telling you that they love VeChain. I love a lot of other projects, but a lot of other product projects made also a hundred, two hundred, three hundred uh, times, uh, times the money since a year ago. And for me, it's maybe not the best time to get in. And again, you got to see my thought process. Crypto as a whole, I'm bullish. But, in, but the industry in crypto that I'm bullish is DeFi. People don't talk about DeFi. I don't know why. People talk about Ripple. They think Ripple is going to a thousand bucks. You know what that means? That means that Ripple will be at a 40 trillion dollar market cap. You know what the market cap of Apple? About 2, 2.5 trillion. You think Ripple will be 40 trillion? Because the Rothschild have a Ripple or the SEC lawyer just quit a week ago and then you see 10,000 videos on YouTube about it or because Ripple will change the SWIFT system on the banking that's, that's worth 40 trillion dollars to you, 20 times Apple. If you believe in that, that is on you, okay? You gotta understand, Ripple is already at 40 billion market cap. It's not gonna go to four, 40 trillion. That's just ludicrous. This guy has made a lot of people a lot of money. If you aren't a member, I suggest you subscribe. Thank you, Mr. El Gordo. Hold some Ripple just in case. Can't, can't win with the Ripple army. Can't win with you guys. Uh, don't go all in. No, never go all in on any coin, no matter what, but hold some. Howdy. Hello. Okay, now I'm free to read your comments. Yeah, and actually see what's going on. Does it show on your PDF how to purchase? Uh, no, to purchase any coin, you go to CoinGecko. You put the name of the coin on the search bar. You scroll all the way down and you got all the options uh, where to buy. I trust you, sir. Please, your top five DeFi. Check my uh, bio. Shalom, Coin Rabbi. Shalom, shalom. Any sub penny cryptos you like? Again, that's the mistake that people don't get. It's not about the price. It's about the market cap. The market cap, not the price of the coin. How to buy Polydodge uh, on Medic. And don't buy just because I talked about it. It's 3 a.m. I'm sleeping. Have a good night. And also recording you. Sounds a little creepy, but sure, why not? <laughs> My thoughts on the market. Uh, I, I'm bullish on the market, basically. Bullish long... If you missed the first uh, few minutes, I talked about DeFi that has about $2 billion locked in DeFi protocols in summer 2020, as opposed to $104 billion market locked in DeFi protocols as of today. $100 billion plus money. This is not you and me throwing a thousand bucks on a coin, hoping to do 100x. That's not 100 billion. That's the money that's in this uh, finance space. This is the sector that started the bull run in the summer with Uniswap just going berserk. Uniswap is DeFi. It, is, it was my number one pick after Ethereum, but Uniswap is built on Ethereum. So if you do anything on Uniswap, you're going to pay all those fees. 
So all those competitions that came to the market, you gotta adapt. You gotta see the environment as a whole. And the environment as a whole is not just triple. Imagine this. Let me give you a scenario. From the top 100 coins on coin market cap, for example, you buy just Ripple. And Ripple doesn't go anywhere or goes sideways, ta ta ta. And in the next five years or so, all the rest of the 99 coins, all of them did 1000x because crypto is here. And the SEC said five years from now, because everyone on YouTube telling you that the trial ends in like a week. Trial doesn't end. Have you ever been in trial or watched some uh, law shows? Do you really think a trial, other than law and order, do you really think a trial or something like that, even a settlement takes a month or a week? But if it takes five years and Ripple doesn't go anywhere and the rest 99 coins in top 100 does a thousand X, meaning that if you put a thousand bucks on, on even one of them, you have a million dollars. But you didn't because you are so Ripple fanatic. And that's not how you should play this game. Just spread your, spread your chips. Good project, just my opinion. To hold ta -ta -ta, my thoughts on Habar and VeChain, I assume you... Everyone that asked me about Habar and VeChain, I assume you got this because someone on TikTok that has a lot of followers talking about Habar and VeChain. So if they like that, you can do more research. I don't follow Habar, I don't follow VeChain. I have my own uh, coins that I like and none of, and those two are not in it. Can I join your live? Uh, sure, uh, I don't know how, but maybe next time. Can you explain market cap versus price? Seems pretty basic, but I see that a lot, a lot of people know, um, yeah. Basically, market cap, Ripple, for example, is 40 billion market cap. 40 billion market cap. That's insane. But the price is less than a dollar, so people think it's cheap. It's not cheap. It's about how much circulation supply, how many coins are in the market, how many coins will be in total in the market. It, it's not about the price. It is not about the price. It's all about the market cap. You gotta start, everyone start looking at market cap and not about price. That's basically it. My thoughts on the market. I think we will go up. Yeah. I don't care about next week or today. Bloody Sunday. Everyone told you, oh, bloody Sunday. Sell everything, sell everything and buy when Bitcoin goes to 20,000 and others saying 25 and some of them are saying 30. And some of them are saying 35. Uh, invitation to go live together. No, I'll, I'll talk to... <laughs> I'll, I'll go live by myself, at least for now. I love Habar. Okay, cheaper, environmental friendly. Okay, you do you. Partnership with Google. Okay, that's fine. That There's insane amount of coins out there. Doesn't mean it, there's only one to pick. What is Shiba going to do after you have the update ready? You want to know my opinion about Shiba? I like them. I do. And I have a small bag. And when did I buy that bag? Before retail got in. I'm already up like 7x. Even after it's down like 80% uh, from like 2-3 weeks ago. The, you, you gotta go in early. Like the, this poly dodge. It's a shit coin. But if you go early... Don't put your life savings on the line and you throw a couple of hundred bucks or something. It could do something. That's all. And if Medic takes off and people will say, hey, this is Dodge on Medic. That's all. That's all. And look at all those zeros. It's cheap because from all the comments that I see, people don't care about market, ca market cap. Uh, they care about the price. And in this case, market cap... Yesterday it was like, I don't know, 10, 11 uh, million. Now it's like 16 million. Still super cheap. Still 0 0.701 or 2. That's insane. So don't throw too much from money that is like uh, if you went to the casino and spend it. The same thing and just that's it. Don't overcomplicate it. Same with Shiba. Shiba is not going to change the world. 
basically it's not it's not gonna change the world and it's not gonna go to a dollar either but if you make some profit on shiba after the launch i assume once the shiba exchange will go live and the launch it will do some uh, crazy run and then i will probably sell i don't know at least half i don't want to marry shiba that's not the goal here okay where is the link to get off of the top uh, DeFi? Uh, Mr. Dom8265, it's in my bio, in my profile in TikTok. How many different crypto do I own? Less than seven. Okay, less than seven. And let me tell you my philosophy. If you have, for example, I don't know, $10,000 to spend on crypto, like buy and hold, you can buy 10 coins, $1,000 each, or what I do, because I believe in specific coins, I prefer instead of buying 10 coins, 1,000 each, I prefer to buy like 3 coins, 3,000 each, like my top 3, and maybe $1,000 spread like, uh, I don't know, 250, 300 bucks on some shit coins. That's all, if you invest 10,000. That's all it is. And that, let's say I put 3,000 on 3 coins, and one of them does a hunger dex, that's 300,000, something like that. And then I can take that 300,000, buy some uh, Quill DTF, QYLD, and get about, uh, I don't know, 3,000 dollars a month forever. That's what, you, that's the plan, basically. That's the plan. My thoughts on Kusama. That's another uh, Ethereum competition. So Ethereum is getting a lot of competition. People don't realize that. Uh, Kusama is great. I haven't searched them deeply because I saw the run was insanely high. And uh, I missed on 500, per, 500 times my money since, uh, I don't know, six months ago. Well, or eight, nine months ago. The run was here. The, the big run was here from the summer until like two weeks ago. And now we're going to wait, I assume, a couple of months. Flush a lot of retail trader. And you see now AMC is pumping, GameStop, all that nonsense is pumping again. Because retail just got flushed from crypto. They're going to play in the, you know, meme stocks again. Until crypto is already, until they're going to miss crypto again. And everyone will talk about crypto when Bitcoin will be at 60 plus again. Then retail will come back from all those meme stocks. Retail will always lose. There's no patience. And, and that's... Even if crypto will change your financial life forever, it will probably going to be in this decade, not next year, but probably 2025 to 30. Thank you, Mr. Parash, for the purchase. Uh, if you see this, uh, shout out. Thank you for that. Basically, that's the key. Crypto is here. The legit super valuable coins that will be here long term can change. It can doesn't mean it will, but they can change your life forever. For that to happen, you should see a crazy run up. And then most likely regulation will come in the next four years. My opinion. Between, until 2025, we will see regulation. And by that time frame, everything will go down a lot for like another bear market. Bear market is not now for one flash crash. That's not a bear market. Bear market will start when politicians in America will actually start implementing regulation rules and everyone on the CNBC will talk about regulation and there are going to be some bills. Then you will see crypto crashing completely. And after regulation will finish the long-term coins that you can buy in the next year, two, three, four. That's why I say dollar cost average every week, 20 bucks, 5 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever that you have weekly. Then from the year 2025 to 2030, give or take, I assume crypto will actually change the world, industries in the world as we know it. We're not, we're not going to pay fees for the banks just for having a checking account. I, I used to pay for TD Bank $6.99 just for the privilege of having a checking account with them. No negative. Positive balance, I pay $6.99 a month just for the privilege to have my cash, useless cash, sitting in a checking account in TD Bank. All this is going to end 
when DeFi is a thing and DeFi will be a thing as well as other industries once regulation will come into crypto. And thank you, Mr. Vivian, Mrs. Vivian, I apologize uh, for the purchase. If you came from here, I appreciate that. That's basically what's uh, gonna happen. So if you're buying, if you think you're too late to the party, and I heard that in 2017 as well, you are not. Stop trying to time the market. Just stop. It's not going to work. Stop thinking that Bitcoin is going to go to 20, 25, 30. Nobody cares. Be crypto, you got to open your mind and think that crypto will legit be legit and be used by everyone, mainstream and institution and banks, probably between the year 2025 uh, to 2030 onwards, if it's going to catch. And until then, whenever that you have a spendable money, dollar cost average, and buy some of your favorable, favorable coins that you think will be here long term based on you and your own research and not based on uh, people on TikTok telling you, hey, go buy some uh, of this or this because it's going to go to the moon, basically. Can you stick out your tongue and touch your nose? Well, at least you got my attention. What are people purchasing? <laughs> Whom are you thanking? Uh, check my bio. There's my top uh, 10 DeFi. Uh, I, I made a top 10 DeFi a few days ago. My pick. It's a PDF uh, file that you can grab, a copy, and see my opinion. Habar. Do I like Habar? Again, that's what I'm saying. If you go on a random TikTok, 90% of the people will say go buy Ripple, go buy VeChain, go buy Habar. Here's again, what's my thoughts on VeChain? Do you understand there's over 10,000 other coins out there and let's say 50 or so are legit from all those 10,000 and it's not just Ripple, VeChain or Habar? Seriously. And think for yourself why... Ripple is not on Coinbase, by the way, the most legit place to actually buy some coins in the US. And VeChain is also not on Coinbase, even though they've been here for a couple of uh, years so far. And again, VeChain, if you bought about a year ago, a thousand bucks will turn into $250,000 now. So if you think uh, VeChain is great, if you're buying now, you missed on a $250,000 Thank you, Mr. Orlando, for the purchase. Shout out to you as well. That's basically. Have you heard about loss less? I saw a scam, not scam, like a promote uh, TikTok today. 15 seconds to fame. Doesn't mean I'm going to invest something because some TikToker said, go buy this uh, next coin. No. TikTokers get paid to promote new coins. You know who makes the most money? The developers of those coins stick to long-term value. I can't stress this enough. String to stick to long-term value, dollar cost average, weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, whatever. 10 years from now, you could say thank you to yourself. Why did you invest in Shiba? Because uh, a lot of my comments at the time, that was like a month ago, uh, they told me three things. A lot of spam was either SafeMoon, Dodge, or Shiba. I knew about Dodge. I knew that I missed the boat on Dodge. I knew for a fact that SafeCoin is a Ponzi scheme, even though uh, YouTube will tell you and TikTok will tell you otherwise, and no one believed that. It is a Ponzi scheme. Just go do some research. And it's, it's, it's a Ponzi scheme. And Shiba was new. I haven't heard about it. But I saw a lot, of, uh, a lot of comments like a month ago on Shiba before people even heard about it. Uh, before it, when it was like six zeros. Now it's like five zeros or something like that. And basically, uh, I did some research and I saw, you know what? They, they're going to have an exchange. Dogecoin doesn't have an exchange. Doge, Dogecoin does have nothing. They only have Elon to pump it. Uh, they're going to have an exchange, Shiba Swap, whatever it's called, doesn't matter. They have uh, tons of followers, like 100,000 people buying. It's not a Ponzi scheme, at least from what I've seen. And they throw some uh, gambling money. That's all. 
That's all it is. It's not rocket science. Shiba is a pump and dump. And unfortunately, it's dumped already. No, it's not. But it could be. Uh, they're not even live. Waiting for the platform to be live. Basically. Ta -ta -ta, Binance Eclipse. That's a scam. Kabusu. Never heard about it. <laughs> My PayPal balance is zero. Can I pay in USDT? Check the platform that uh, hosts the PDF. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not customer support. Okay. Any more questions? I uh, scrolled. Uh, FEG coin. SpaceX. SpaceX except Dodge. So what? Who cares? Dodge. Do if you <laughs> Dodge coin. There's a lot of uh, websites that accept Dodge. There's a lot of websites that accept other cryptos as well. A hundred other cryptos. Does it make Dodge anything more unique? No. But because you see an article on the news, hey, SpaceX or something or this company is accepting Dodge, then you think, oh, let's fill my in. There's nothing there for Dodge. And again, if you buy Dodge now at like 30 cents, the boat, sure, it can go to a door. You're going to make 200% uh, on your money. That ship has sailed. You should have bought Dodge three, four, five months ago. Now, whoever buys Dodge, you can make money, but you cannot make more than the last four or five months ago if you bought. When I say search, what should we looking for? When I'm doing research on a coin that I haven't heard about, I go to YouTube, first I go to CoinGecko, go to their website and read about the, the coin itself. Uh, thank you Costa for the purchase, shout out for you as well, I hope, uh, and reach out. Let me tell you something, in the PDF there's my email that you can reach out and ask me questions basically uh, like one on one, not just in uh, live with 100 plus uh, uh, people here. So that's another plus, uh, check the, my bio for that. But basically, I go to their website, I see the, the, if there's a team, what's the roadmap, all that kind of good stuff. Then I go to YouTube, you know what I search on YouTube? Sure, sure, I put the coin name, I don't know, let's say I put uh, I don't know, Medic Coin, or whatever the case. And I scroll, and I'm watching videos with the horrible thumbnail, okay? That, that's, my, that's my strategy, horrible thumbnails, and less than 10,000 uh, followers, give or take. What does that mean? That means that people that are new to YouTube, new I mean the last year, they don't really know how YouTube marketing, thumbnail, clickbait really works, but they're actually very knowledgeable about the coins that they're talking about. Because if they talked about clickbait and just put a rocket emoji and say, Medic is doing 100x, the next uh, dodge to do 1000x, this coin will make you a millionaire as a headline. I'm not watching those because those are just spam and, and pumping and hyping for 10 minutes to get money from you, the viewer, so YouTube can pay you. Trust me, I'm a YouTube creator. I know how, how it works. So the value content is the people that don't really know how to make good thumbnails, myself included. Just... <laughs> just an FYI, and don't really know how to do a clickbait headline, basically. But they are talking about coins. So when I search uh, DFYN on, on Medic, I don't know, I got like 10 results, and all those 10 results, that those are good content. People that you've never heard about on YouTube because they have not a lot of followers, 1,000 followers, 2,500, doesn't matter. But they're talking about the coin, and they're not trying to spam it and say, this is the one that will give you, uh, will change your life and give you 1000x. They're actually talking about what's going on. Basically. Ta -ta -ta. Let's see what we got. The theory behind lossless is investor protection. Yeah, I also saw the 10 second video on, uh, that got pumped on TikTok. Does that mean I'm buying it? No. Is Maddie good at the current price? That's a good question. Uh, let's see what we got. Top three coins to buy today for educational purposes only. Check my bio. Ripple. Ripple. 
What's good today? Hey, hey. Uh, what's good today? Drinking coffee and uh, watching a movie in, uh, in, the, in the weekend and ignore the market. That's the conclusion. What's going on with Earth 2? Uh, thank you, Mr. Sheldon. I appreciate you as well. Uh, reach out from, from the PDF. Again, guys, you got a, a direct contact with me, my email, my number, legit, my phone number, and I actually say uh, uh, text me. So feel free to text me. I should charge for that uh, a little more, I assume, but uh, you got that content uh, link in the bio. As for Earth 2, my money is stuck there and I'm waiting for them to go to phase two as they said they will go two months ago. That's basically, I'm not, I haven't tried to withdraw because uh, that's uh, gambling money. If it pans out, great. If it doesn't, it's going to sting a little. I'm not going to lie. But I hope uh, they will do what they're saying that they will do, basically. That's why you just, gambling money is gambling money. It's not rent money. It's not mortgage, it's not food money, it's gambling money. Do you think the new coin? Aha, uh -huh, Chu. Thank you, Gabish. Uh, Chu will do well. Thank you, Gabish, as well. I don't know what is uh, this coin, Chu. Thank you, Gabish, uh, for all these uh, flowers. I don't know what it means, but I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, thank Oh, that's a lot of flowers. He just talked about Ripple. Yeah, Shiba is a pump and dump. SpaceX, ICP, what do I think? ICP, guys, basically is, it's a long term. Their roadmap is for like 20 years, something like that. Uh, Gabish, that's a lot of flowers. Thank you for that. There's a lot of uh, roadmap. ICP is trying to build a new internet. It's called the Internet Computer. It's a horrible name. They're trying to build an internet where you don't have to be on the mercy of Amazon, Google, or Microsoft, basically. That, that's, that's the key. If it happens, and it could happen with crypto eventually, uh, thank you, Crypto Weatherman, it could happen eventually, but you really think that uh, Amazon, uh, Google, and Microsoft will just roll over and die and let uh, crypto coin uh, change the internet as we know it? Probably not, but if it does gonna happen, it's not gonna happen tomorrow, it could happen 10 to 20 years from now. So ICP, you know, if you wanna throw bag money, you're gonna have to wait until your uh, kids have kids, basically. That's how I see it, give or take, if they're panning out. <laughs> Let's see what else we got, any other... Uh questions ah we got here have you heard what about uh i don't know hey hey what's good today where's the link to get the top 10 DeFi? it's in my bio see what else we got here i agree with you thank you the crypto weatherman is watching you sounds good uh-huh shiba to the moon okay diamond hands on amc what do i think about cardano same thing, never like them, never like Cardano and everyone on YouTube will pump Cardano like it's the best thing since sliced bird, bread. I don't like Cardano, I, 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 ju I just don't, I really don't, I can't say why, I, I, I really don't. There's just something about uh, Cardano just rubbed me the wrong way, <laughs> basically, medic. I love Medic, yeah. Uh huh. Any Binance chain coins that I have? No. I truly hate Binance uh, coins. The, the coins that come on Binance uh, chain. Uh, I, I, if you watch the replay, I posted the link, the token sniffer, something like that. Go there. Just see, they post all the coins that come out every day, like every minute. And you see, and then it says like, uh, like they're reading the code. And then they say if it's like it's supposed to be legit or no. So if you see, it's crazy. You see like a hundred coins come on the Binance Smart Chain in a day. Like 98 of them are like the developers are going to scam and rug pull you. That's unbelievable. Binance Smart Chain, it was good. 
six, eight months ago, today it's like a cesspool of uh, scam coins. And surprisingly, a lot of retail traders are going to Binance Smart Chain in the last month. And that's exactly the developers are dumping on you. So don't do that. Not a financial advice. Favorite platform for crypto? Coinbase, Crypto.com. It used to be Uniswap and now it's a quick swap and I'm trying to move to DFYN. But then but as of now, it's a quick swap on Medic, where you pay 10% uh, 10 10 of a penny on quick swap from, from Medic Exchange. So that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, uh, Crypto.com, Cardano, and VeChain. That's a popular bag. People like to follow other people's bags for some reason. What is the significance of Medic? Uh, the, the, the fees and the, and the transaction. Go do a transaction on Uniswap or Balancer or Curve or Ren or any or Sushi on Ethereum. Or, and you're gonna, I don't know, wait 10, 20, 30 minutes, first of all. And then you're also gonna pay 20, 30, 50, 100, 200, 300, 700 bucks. Do the same thing, same transaction on Medic exchanges. It's going to take you less than uh, five seconds, at less, if it's like two seconds, and you're going to pay less than a penny. So I think this will win, basically. Have a great day. Thank you. We're going to wrap this up in about three minutes or so before 9.30 Eastern. I just want to thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you. Cardano Diamond Hands. <laughs> okay. I'm curious to, to hear your thoughts about this uh, shitcoin. No. <laughs> Cardano, Stellar Lumens, and Medic. Okay. Do you think we are currently in a bear market? I do not. Uh, do you think, thank you, Mr. Joy uh, Trevino. Do you think Ethereum will pass Bitcoin in the future? You know what I think? I think that the more people start to talk about Ethereum to pass uh, Bitcoin, the more I think someone else will come from the bottom and will either pass them both or Bitcoin will stay number one. I think Ethereum will actually uh, go to number three, but I don't think Cardano will be or Chainlink or anyone else will be number two. Uh, because retail traders start to talk about that Ethereum will go to number one, most likely institutions know that and will start dumping Ethereum a lot and a lot. And a coin that could come not out of nowhere, but if you follow the money, you can see some coins that are insanely super undervalued. And no, it's not VeChain or Habar or Ripple, in my opinion. Something else. Ziv is Ethereum and eternally Ethereum classic link anyway. Uh, no, I talked about Ethereum Classic. Uh, it's a shitcoin. It is a shitcoin. Ethereum Classic is a shitcoin. There's nothing there. Uh, and basically, people it got pumped because it's on Robinhood. And people see the, the name Ethereum. And they see the price 50, 60 bucks. So they buy because they don't buy Ethereum at 2000. There's nothing there. Uh, the only connection, if you guys just know some uh, history lesson, Ethereum Classic is actually the original, okay? And, uh, how crazy is this? Ethereum Classic is the original and uh, Ethereum itself is a fork of Ethereum Classic. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but I've read that a couple of times. Uh, I don't know if the sources are legit. But if this is the case, then Ethereum Classic was the original, nothing happened there, and everyone built on the Ethereum Ethereum, Ethereum, which was the fork of the classic version, which is crazy. ICP at the price range at 110, I'm trying to buy. I said it like uh, two or three weeks ago, hopefully around 80, when it was 450. So 80 to 100 was my target to get into ICP. Super close to there, people did not listen and I just uh, and they comment, I just bought uh, ICP at 450. Why? The market cap was 450, 45 billion dollars. Why? Why did you buy? Why, why? I don't get it. 
polydogic uh, prediction hopefully over uh, over the price today which is seven zeros point one something i bought 50 icp good for you hopefully it will go to the moon what's the risk of quantum computing to crypto i've heard about it again if you are investing in crypto you will see insane amount of stuff happening in the next five years regulation quantum computing uh, government ban china ban all that nonsense crypto is not a safe riskless investment but the ones that will came out on top it will not happen tomorrow it will be at least five years from now 2025 to 2030 is my range uh, for this to come out and go insanely high so i don't care uh, if uh, two, if a year from now quantum computer is coming and it's gonna crash crypto like everyone on YouTube are telling you, most likely it will not happen. We have reached uh, the end of this live, guys. It's been an hour. Let me finish the last questions before I head up. H and T, yeah, I love H and T, and I don't think they're gonna do anything for the next five years because the technology is not even live on Helium. Where did you come from? <laughs> How about ICX? That's, uh, yeah, I haven't heard that name in like four years. So I assume it doesn't do anything. You gotta think about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ta -ta -ta. My thoughts on uh, uh, Ripple, of course. Ta -ta -ta. Which exchange the coins? Okay. Uh, before I wrap this up, uh, if you guys just uh, join, first of all, thank you. Uh, if you like this content and I bring you a value, one way to support me, link in the bio, I have changed my bio. You can grab a copy of my top 10 DeFi picks uh, as of today, as of a couple of days ago. And then inside you got the PDF, you got top 10 DeFi plus a way to contact me by email and SMS. It's not my private private number but it is a number for me there's no customer support or something so you can actually text me and see what's going on i can help you in there as well link in the bio appreciate you all and hopefully we'll see you uh sunday next sunday 8 30 p.m eastern on tiktok i also go live on thursday 8 30 p.m every thursday on youtube uh, you can search my name finance after 40 Hope you guys uh, have a great uh, long weekend. Stop thinking about bloody Sunday. It's all nonsense. It's not going to happen. Invest long term in coins that you believe will be here in the future and can change your financial life. Thank you guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye.